in the previous session we have seen uh, how to identify the identical uh, compounds in enzymes and diastereomers so in this session we will understand through these examples if the optically active compound containing one chiral centers like this is the one chiral centers here four different groups these are chiral compounds so now how we can calculate this r and s nomenclature so let us calculate so uh, as per the atomic number this is your 1 and this will be your 2 and this will be your 3 so if you see hydrogen in the uh, vertical line so you can write this is the uh, anti clockwise so this will be your s now here again cl is this side so cl is the highest atomic number and followed by nitrogen and then carbon again hydrogen in a vertical origin line so we'll calculate like this one this becomes your r similarly here so hydrogen again vertical line okay so in this case again this is your one and this will be your two and this will be your three and this is the fourth last two is fourth this is the lowest priority on the for your vertical line so it will be one two three so like this this is anti-clockwise this is your s so in this we can see one and two so one and two is your in enzymer because uh, as per the definition it is s and r while you take one and three so this is your identical so one and three identical so uh, the all the groups are same and it is also s is also s so this is your identical or uh, another name is your homomer similarly if you say two and three so two and three uh, this is your in enzymer two and three is your in enzymer why it is in enzymer so you can say it is r and it is s configurations <laughs> let's take one more examples this one so CH3, OH and hydrogen CH2H5, so this is the uh, atomic number is high, 1, this will be your 2, this will be your 3 and this is the 4. Now 4th is on horizontal line. So whatever we are observing, we will take the opposite. So 1, 2, 3, so 1, 2, 3 is this one, it is look like S, but this is not S, it is actually R. Now here H is the last one, so this is 1 and this will be your 2 and this is a 3. So we this is on the 4th group is vertical line. So it is 1, 2, 3. So this will be your R. Now here, uh, hydrogen is vertical. You can see very clearly. So 1 and this is the 2 and this is the 3. So it is uh, looking like a, a S configuration because H is vertical line. So S, so it is S, but it, is, it will not be S. So this will be your, so this is your 1, 2, 3. This is your looking like R. This is not R. This will be your S configuration. So in this case, if you say 1 and 2, 1, 10, 2 is your identical isomers. You can see clearly, but both are R and S, R and R, uh, groups are same. And uh, 1 and 3 will be your, uh, your in enzymer, why it is in enzymer. So it is very clearly, so this is your R configuration, this is your uh, R configuration, this is your S configuration. And 2 and 3, 2 and 3 R and S, so 2 and 3 again, it is your in enzymer. I hope uh, your doubt will be cleared. Let's take one more examples. This is in three dimensions. Here it is a, uh, you can see these are one groups. This is your, this is one, CL is the highest atomic number and OH is second and CS3 is the third group. So one, two, hydrogen in the fourth group, this is the last. So you see rotate it, it is away from the observer. So it is your anti-clockwise. Now in this case, your uh, CL is the one and the OH is second, it is towards observer and this is the third. So this is again, if you see this is clearly, it looks like your uh, your uh, clockwise direction so it is again r configurations and in this case this is your uh, this is not a methyl group this is your hydrogen i forget to write so this is your one okay and this is your again uh, two so it is a two and this is your three so if you see clearly so it is look like your so one two three so if you see clearly it is look like your uh one two three means like this one so it is your clockwise direction so this is not a clockwise so this is not a s this will be R, so not, not a R, this will be your S. Why S? Because uh, you have to swipe this one. If you swipe this one, so it is one exchange take place, so you can't take R, you will take two, you have to take S. So one exchange is there. Now, what is one and two? So one and two is your, uh, this S and R, so this is your in enzymer. All groups are same. And uh, two and three, so you, okay, if you see two and three, so two and three will be your, uh, if you see carefully, this is two is R, this is S, this is again in, in enzymer. And, uh, uh, you say here uh, it is your, uh, not 1 and 3. So you take 1 and 3, 1 and 3. So 1 is S and this uh, again S. So this will be your identical. So I hope uh, you understood what is the difference between identical in enzymer and so we'll see one more example of diastereomers. If the compound containing uh, more than 
वन कैरल सेंटर्स कंपाउंड करें मोर देन वन कैरल सेंटर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस वन थ्री ब्रोमो ब्यूटेन टूअल सो लेट सी हाउ वी कैन सी देयर इन एन सुमर एसोमर एंड आइडेंटिकल एसोमर्स सो इट हैज फोर स्टीडियो आइसोमर्स यू कैन सी हेयर दिस फोर स्टीडियो आइसोमर्स आर देयर एंड इन दिस फोर स्टीडियो आइसोमर्स वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड वील टेल देयर आंसर्स so let us start from here this is the ch3 oh so if you count from here this is the oh again hydrogen is the uh, horizontal line this is the o this will be whole group is your 2 so this is a 2 this is a 3 so if you count this is the 1 2 3 so this look like your uh, clockwise direction this is not s this will be your uh, not r this will be your s so this is a 2s now this will be your uh, this is a pr and this is a 2 whole group is 2 and this is 3 so it is look like your s so this third group is not s this will be your uh, 3r so one is 2s and this is your 3r 2s 3r now here if you see this is the one whole group is 2 this is 3 so again hydrogen in the horizontal line so it is looking like your 1 2 3 so it is looking like like a s anti clockwise so this is not s this will be your 2r similarly this is the br1 this whole group is your 2 and this is your third so 1 2 3 And hydrogen is the fourth group is the horizontal line. So one, two, three. It is looking like R, but this is not a R, not a three R. This will be your three uh, S. So two R and three S. Here also uh, OH. So OH is one whole group is two, and this is three. Uh, is the fourth group. So one, two, three. It is looking like your uh, your uh, clockwise direction. So it is not clockwise. It is not two S. This will be your two R. Similarly here, this is the bromine one. The whole group is a uh, two, and this is a three, and this is the fourth group. So one, two, three. So one, two, three is looking like your clockwise direction. So this is not a two, a uh, three s. This will be your three r. So one is your. So it is uh, the. Uh, this will be your one, two, three. Now this is your two, uh, two r. So this is not two r. This is your two s. So I just uh, correct it. Two s and this is your. This is your not three R. This will be your three S. Please uh, correct this one. So this is a two S. Uh, I'm sorry. This is your two uh, S, and this will be your three S. Two S and three S. Now here also C S three O H and hydrogen. So O H is again one. Uh, this whole group is two, and this is your three. So it is your one two three. So one two three is looking like a S. So it is not S. This will be your two S is wrong. Two R is correct. Again here this is one, and the whole group is two. And this is your three. So one, two, three. So one, two, three is looking like as the age. Three uh, S. So this is not a three S. This will be your three R. Now if you compare it, so this is the A, B, C, and D. So what is A and B? So A and B. So you say two S, two R, three R, three S. So A and B is your uh, in N C O M A R. Similarly, A C, A and C. If you compare it, so two S, three R, and this is a two S and three S. So A and C will be your Die stereomer. It will be your die stereomer. Now compare it A and D. So A is two S. This is two R. This is three R and three R. So again, this is same uh, die stereomer. Now compare it B and C. So B is two R, two S, three S, three S. So this is again die stereomer. So already is uh, I have seen the examples. Now if you compare it, uh, this one B and D. So B is two R. 2s and this is 3s and 3s. So again, this will be again die. So die stereomers. And last C and D, C and D. So if you compare C and D, so 2s, 2r, 3s, 3r. So this will be your enantio mers. I hope uh, you understood. If the compound having more than the two chiral carbons, how we can identify the enantio mers, identical isomers, and die stereomers. Let us see here. So CS3 hydrogen and NH2. So Uh, if you compare, this is nitrogen one. This whole group is two, and this is the three. So if you compare, this will look like here. Uh, clockwise action, hydrogen in the uh, horizontal plane. So this is not a uh, R. This will be your actually S. Now here is it is your uh, one. This whole group is your uh, this whole group will be two, and this is only two carbon. So it will be three. So it is look like here. It's a clockwise direction. So it is not S. This will be your. This is not R. R is not the S because this is not a clockwise, it will be anti-clockwise because hydrogen is present in the horizontal line. 
so both are s and s now in this stereo isomers the three are uh, equal to each other if you see carefully so if you see this is a one the whole group is two and this is a three it is again horizontal line so one two three so this is your s looking like s but it is actually r and this is your one again this whole group is two this is a three so one two three is a fourth group so it is looking like again uh, your anti-clockwise so this is again r s is not there so it is r r now here also so if you see this is the ami ami is one again this whole group is two this is a three so one two three it's looking like clockwise so this is not a r this is your s again this is the one the whole group is two this is the three and the whole this is a horizontal line so this is your it is your anti-clockwise so it is your s so pqs this is the uh, uh, the molecular formula the, all these are isomers to each other you can see so p and q if you see carefully s r s r so p and uh, q is your enantiomer similarly if you see p and r p and r one is s one is s this is s and this is so this is definitely a your p s a p r so p r will be your again uh, your your it is called as so it is s s and this is your s s so s s will be your again identical you can say this identical both are same so it is your identical now q and r so if you say q and r so q and r will be your if you see r and s this is your r and s so q and r will be your uh, enantiomers so it is opposite to each other so enantiomers identical same enantiomers now if the groups attached to both the chiral centers are same attached to both the chiral centers are same and both chiral centers having the opposite configuration such that uh, observed rotations of such compounds uh, become zero so that they are considered as a meso compounds that is called internal composition you can see here this cs3 hoh and hoh and cs3 so if you draw a plane mirror here so this becomes a plane of symmetry so this compound is your meso compound so here internal compensation is there so this compound whole molecule is optically inactive so what is this carbon so again one this whole group is two and this is three so you can see this is your one two three so it is looking like a r clockwise direction so this is actually is s not r again this is the one the whole group is two and this is three so one two three and hydrogen fourth group so one two three is looking like a s so it is not s this is actually r so s and r again this is cs3 hydrogen cl so in this case let us see so this is your uh, one group this whole compound is two and this is three so one two three so it is looking like a r so it is not a r this is actually s again uh, this is your one the whole group is two this is three so one two three so one two three is your s it is not s r because hydrogen again horizontal position so s and r so this is also a meso why meso you can see if you uh, rotate this one if you if you do one exchange cl this side hydrogen this side so this becomes your your uh, meso compound and the uh, rotation of this one you take it a rotation of this one you take it you will get meso compound like this one here let us see here so this is the one time rotation on rotation you will get this result so let us compare this and this one so this is a uh, one this whole is two this is a three so it is already a discussed this is your our s and here it is your one and it is your uh, whole group is two this is a three so this is then on a vertical line so one two three so this becomes your r so you can see s and s and r so if you give one rotation so this whole becomes your enantiomer so this is the meso compound but uh, this compound is your optically active and it has both uh, chiral it has both chiral centers and they have uh, same configurations they have same configurations you can see here they are same configurations now next uh, if the mirror image of the meso compounds are not in enantiomer so they are identical so we can verify from here so this is the mirror image of these compounds which is very clear so already we discussed this compound is your uh, s so this compound is your s and if you see from here, so this compound is your, no, this is not S, this is your R. So if you calculate, this is your, again, if you calculate it, this becomes your R, this becomes your S. So it is an enantiomer. You can see very clearly, this is your uh, 2S and 3R, and this will be your again, the 1, 2, so this is your 2R and 3S. 
if you see from here so this compound is also identical so why because if you draw the plane here so we can see both halves are equal to each other and if you see the mirror image so this is equal to this is again optically inactive compounds or we can say this is the identical now here also if you see in this compound So in this compound, if you see carefully, so what will happen? So in this compound, CS3 and 2 is uh, behind the plane. So if you draw the one uh, plane, so both are equal to this. So this is also optically inactive compounds. So in this case, uh, we cannot take the uh, your uh, RSS S nomenclatures. Now this is a 3D diagram. So in 3D diagram, what happens? So uh, we can draw the structures. So this is your CL. And the CS3 and BRC, we count it. So this is one, this group is whole group is two, and this is three. So one, two, three. So one, two, three is your clockwise direction. So this becomes your R. So this is your R. And again, if you take BR, so BR is there. So BR is the one. And here, uh, this and this one. So first carbon is there, second is your CL. And here, second is oxygen. CL has a more priority. So this becomes your two, this becomes three. So if you take one, two, three. So 1, 2, 3 is looking like your clockwise direction. So this is your R. And here uh, if you take this carbon. So this is the 1. And this whole group is 2. And this is 3. So 1, 2, 3 looking like this one. So 1, 2, 3 is your anti-clockwise direction. So this is your S configurations. This also is the uh, isomers of this compound. All these are isomers. Here also CL is just behind. So you take here. This is 1. This whole group is 2. And this is 3. So hydrogen is uh, somewhat here is a hydrogen. It's a fourth group towards the observer. So you have to exchange. Exchange will take place. So one, two, three. So one, two, three is uh, clockwise direction. So clockwise direction is your R. So R we can't take. S is the answer because hydrogen is on the uh, our side. My side is there. So if you exchange between hydrogen and CL. So hydrogen will go behind. CL will come front. So it will be S. Here also same thing. This is the BR is behind. So we take one here and the second is a two this one and third is this one. So one, two, three. So we take one, two, three. So one, two, three is your a clockwise direction. So it is a clockwise direction is R. R is wrong. This will be S. Here also if you take one and this whole group is two. The whole group is two. It is a three. So one, two, three means it will look like your uh, anti-clockwise direction. So anti-clockwise direction is wrong. This will be your R. So it is actually S, S and R. Now here also if you take so this is your CL, CL is a 1, the whole group is 2, whole group is 2, and this is a 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 is your uh, clockwise, so this is your R, and again BR is the 1, and this is your 2, and this is your 3. So 1, 2, 3, if you take it, so this is your, again, clockwise direction R, and here is O, 1, this is 2, and this is 3. So if you take this one, this is your anti-clockwise direction, so anti-clockwise not selected, why? OH is behind, and hydrogen in front. So this will be your R. So R, 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 all three will be your R. Now all these are uh, stereo isomers. So we can compare A, B, C. So A, B, C, if you compare it, A is your R, R, S, and B is your S, S, R. So B, this is your enantiomer. Definitely this will be enantiomer. And what about A, C? So it is R, R, S, this is a triple R. So this will be your diastereomers because uh, one R is not matching. So it is a diastereomers. And what is about B and C? So B and C, it is S, S and R. This is R, R and R. So again, it is uh, not matching. So this will be your anti-stereo. So I hope uh, uh, by these examples, uh, it will be very clear how to identify enantiomer, diastereomers, and identical isomers.